Hi there, guys. I'm Jonathan Strickland, a senior writer here with HowStuffWorks.com and co-host of Tech Stuff. And I'm here to talk about the future of gamification. But before we go into what the future is, let's talk about what gamification actually is. Now that's adding a layer of gaming activity to a non-gaming task. So for an example, let's take the app Foursquare. Foursquare is an app that allows you to check into locations. It uses GPS receivers and cell phone towers to figure out where you are, and then you can check into that place. Well, there are a lot of different gaming elements to Foursquare as well. First of all, there are badges you can earn by visiting specific types of places a certain number of times. If you visit the same area enough times, you can become the mayor of that place. And Foursquare has entered into agreements with various retailers and restaurants and other businesses that will give you discounts if you frequent a place enough times. That's just one example of gamification. And I see this becoming increasingly popular across commerce in the next few years. So we'll probably see some customer loyalty programs that build in gaming elements to increase that engagement and encourage you to come back over and over, spending money at these places and, and rewarding you in ways beyond just whatever product or service you're buying. But commerce isn't the only application of gamification. We could also see it being used in education. Now, by adding in gaming layers to education, we can encourage students to become more engaged, more involved, and to make learning fun as well as interesting. Now, there's some controversy about adding gamification into education. After all, we don't want everything to just turn into a, a game. We don't want everything to be considered uh, uh, frivolous or just a, a waste of time even. But it seems like gamification is a good way to help students really get more involved in their coursework. But here's another example. What if we add gamification to health applications? There are a lot of technology products coming out on the market right now that add levels of gamification to getting healthy. For example, you might have an armband that keeps track of your physical activity and lets you know how many calories you've burned each day. Well, a gamification level might pit you against your friends who have similar devices so that you can compete against them and see who's doing the most activity each week and thus you are encouraging yourself to lose more weight and be more active. Or you might even add an entire game on top of losing weight. There's a device called Strive, S-T-R-I-I-V, that has a almost social networking style game where the energy you burn becomes currency within the game itself. This is just one early example of gamification in the health field, and I expect we're going to see a lot more of that in the years to come as people see games being a way to get into activities that perhaps they've wanted to engage in in the past, but just couldn't get over that final hurdle to really commit to it. Can gamification change the world? Well, that still remains to be seen. I think that in the short term, it can really encourage engagement and get us involved in activities that we've been wanting to jump into, but have been a little reluctant to in the past. Can gamification change the world? Well, that remains to be seen. I think in the short term, gamification can really help us engage in our activities that otherwise we might feel there's a barrier to entry. However, whether that's sustainable or not is still a question that's in my mind. I'm sure that for many of us, it'll help us get involved on the ground floor, but keeping it going, that's going to be up to us as individuals. I can't blame the game if I start putting on pounds again. No, I blame the cupcakes. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes.